Hello World for me, this is Jaden's Videos, and I am here with a very long-awaited Wolfman review. And this Wolfman review, as you can tell, is on Looming Straw Man. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I got Looming Straw Man on October 5th, during the Halloween season. And if you don't, you might know that I have him, because he's only appeared once on my channel, and that is in both of my haunt videos. So if you watch both of my haunt walkthroughs, you'll know that I had him. Or, if you saw him, so he's actually appeared in three of my videos. So, or if you saw him in my most recent video of my haunt trailer for this year, then you'll know he's in that as well. Now, now I can actually say my haunt theme on my channel which I'm glad about because you guys know the theme Nightmare House 2019 The Dark Harvest I'll explain more about it later it's obviously a farm theme but it's not only farm it's really a country theme so it's like a farm inside a wild west town I'll elaborate more on that later but this prop is going to work perfectly for it of course but anyways, this is a prop from Spirit Halloween 2018, so he came out last year, and I don't believe he'll be returning for this year. He was a good seller, but not good enough to return for a second year. In my personal opinion, he was my favorite 2018 prop, as most of you guys know, which is why everyone was so surprised that I never uploaded a review on him, because a lot of people never knew that I even got him and I'd been talking about how I wanted to get him for the whole season, and then a lot of people never knew that I even got him, and so uh, I never got around to doing the review, but I'm finally doing it. Uh, of course, you guys know this year's been busy for me so far. I had to move, and then, you know, I've been filming movies. I haven't been filming too many videos, but I'm gonna start doing that since the Halloween season is approaching in only a month actually well a month and a half since we are only halfway about halfway through may so here is looming straw man so without further ado let's get into reviewing this guy i want to start off first with this hat he has a really cool hat as you can see and it depends on how you position his hat to how you want it to look it does have a wire in there so you can position it however you want to. Now when I saw him in stores and when I saw other people's looming straw mans, I was afraid that his hat wasn't going to look as it does in the video because I loved how it looked in the video. A lot of stores set him up very lazily and didn't have his hat look very nice. You need to actually position the rim of his hat and his hat on top how you want to if you want him to look nice. You can't just throw the hat on or it looks dumb. And I know a lot of stores just threw the hat on because a lot of stores that I went to or saw videos of had the hats just thrown on. My store didn't have too bad of a looming straw man. A little, it was a little messed up, but it wasn't one of the worst hats that I've seen, but a lot of them just threw their hats on. And I, it doesn't look as cool that way. It doesn't look, I don't know, I just love the, in my opinion, I think the curved hat looks nice. I know a lot of people like to stick it straight up. I like the curved hat. It just looks more like a scarecrow in my opinion. I just love how the curved hat looks. It looks really cool in my opinion. But the hat looks really cool. Detail on it's nice. Of course, it's got uh, some cuts around the rim, which I really like. Looks cool. I love that you can position it however you want. Now, moving down to his face. Very awesome. It is a, I believe it's latex. It could be rubber material. I know that's a very flexible material, so his mouth can move. But you can also see that it's uh, made to look like it is burlap of course because he is a scarecrow so that is really really awesome and then he's got the yarn and on his mouth and his eyes and it kind of overlaps and has a cool scarecrow look to it his eyes are kind of sparkly i don't know if you can see they sparkle a little bit but that is because of the material they're made out of so that the light can shine through when his eyes light up red Attached to his hat is his hair. I really like his hair. It's really cool long straw hair It looks really nice on him makes him look like a classic scarecrow Which is really one of the main reasons that I love looming straw man just because he looks like a classic scarecrow that has the Creepy scarecrow hat and just the burlap and everything I just absolutely love scarecrows that look like this and it was the first thing that I liked about looming straw man when I saw his picture like before I even really knew that he lunged out like when I just saw a picture of him I just loved him immediately because it, he just looks like a scarecrow. Of course, <laughs> right after that, I obviously knew that he lunged out. But my first impression on him was, oh, I love this guy because he looks so cool. But then the lunging thing was an added plus. 
down here, I don't really know what you'd call this thing, but it's the thing that's around his neck. Again, it's got the yarn on it in a crisscross pattern, and up there is his IR sensor, if you can see that. This is a green, uh, it's got a green tint to it, which I like. It looks very good with the brown, it's a good contrast of brown and green, it looks really nice. His arms are outstretched, which is also something I really like, and it was one of my favorite things about him, because we haven't seen a scarecrow with its arms like this before. And this is how you would usually see scarecrows in a cornfield with their arms out, because you would usually see pictures of crows perched on their arms. Their arms are usually straight out, because it's just a way to scare away the crows, and usually scarecrows are up on a post, usually in a cross format, where their arms are nailed to the sides of the cross, and they have the cross stuck up at the back of them. And so it literally looks like he jumped off of the cross where he would be in a cornfield, which I really love. Of course, at the end of his arms, you have more straw for his hands, and his arms are just this material that the rest of his clothes are made out of, and it's got kind of some tears at the end, which looks really nice. I really like it. And then you go down to his clothes, same material, of course. I really like the shirt. It looks really nice. Um, it could have had more detail. I wish they would have added some blood to this guy. Well, they did on his pants, but I wish they would have added it to his shirt as well because it doesn't make much sense to me for it to just be on his pants let's say well the only way for him to have gotten blood on his pants is if he killed someone if you kill someone the blood's not just going to splash on the pants you'll probably get it on the shirt too so they definitely could have done better with the detail on his shirt there's not much to it i mean it looks nice the way it is i like the colors the contrast of the brown and green like i said and it's a very farm and scarecrow looking color brown is but it just, and I really like how it's like a darker shade of brown. It, I mean, it's light brown, but they kind of like um, took away some of the color, kind of washed it out to make it look more Halloween because you don't want any bright colors for Halloween. Um, so I, I like it, but like they could have added more detail. And I really wish the rips at the bottom here weren't complete rectangles where they come off in rectangles, if you can see what I'm talking about. I wish they were more uh, just jagged and looked more natural than just being all the same pattern but you know i guess it doesn't really matter he's got a rope around his waist which i know a lot of props have that nightmare harvester harbinger of hell i don't know it just has a it gives them more depth and more of a it gives their waist more shape than just having clothes over them i some props they look perfectly fine without it but like props such as this that I think they look best with it, especially since he's a scarecrow. He would, he just wouldn't look right without it. Uh, I know you can't really see his pants too well. It blends in with my wall, my wall a little bit, and I need a little bit of better lighting in my room. I'm still not finished setting up my room entirely. But you can see he's got blue pants, and I don't know if you can tell too much because the blood isn't very noticeable, which is something else I wish they would have done is made the blood more noticeable. But there are blood splatters on his pants, which I'm still glad that they added those. At the very bottom, as you can see, are his straw feet, which I really enjoy. And then he's got a pretty long base, as you can tell, because he's got to be stable when he lunges out. He's a really cool prop, in my opinion. Originally, he retailed for... I believe 230 no it was 240 or 250 240 I believe yeah it was 240 and uh, that's a high price I remember I as much as I love this prop I remember always saying that it's a really high price for him it should have just been 200 because there's not really anything different from him and other lunging props except for the, the his format of how he lunges out it's very different especially from props like hugs it's like the most different and unique lunging format that we've seen but it's still the same type of animation that allows him to lunge out so I didn't really understand why he costed more Granted, he is a very tall prop, reaching about 7 feet tall. A little bit under 7 feet how I have his hat positioned, but if I had his pos hat positioned up, it would be 7 feet tall. He is the same height as Nightmare Harvester, which I find kind of shocking. Nightmare Harvester just has bigger feet and hands and a bigger head, so it just makes him larger. But in height-wise, Looming Straw Man is the same height. I had him across the walkway of Nightmare Harvester, in my old room when I had like those little walkways I have an open floor now but um when I had those little walkways he was across it 
and so I could definitely tell that they were the same height, which I think, like, again, I said, it seems pretty shocking, but I, th I like it. I like how tall he is, but still, I don't really understand why he was originally 240 There wasn't really a reason for him to be $40 above 200 I think 200 would have been a fair price for him, but later on in the season, they did drop him down to 200 which I think is a much more fair price, and I'm glad they did that. Sadly, when I bought him, he was still full price because I was not aware that they were going to drop him down. If I would have waited about a week, I would have got him a little cheaper, but I was not aware that they were going to drop the price down at all because, I mean, they just do it without warning at the end of the season sometimes, and you never know which props are going to do it. And you never know if the prop that you want is going to be sold out before they drop the price down. So I just got him at full price, and, well, I, I really wish they, like, didn't do that like at the very end like if they're gonna drop the price down I wish it was a little bit sooner because a lot of people I find buy props and then they drop the prices down right after that like they did that with Forest Demon last year right after I bought Forest Demon they did it with Looming I mean the year before last year not last year did it with Looming Strawman last year I wish they didn't do that because you know, but it's still good that they drop the prices for anyone who wants to buy him in the future. So currently he is $200 on the website. So if you do want to buy him, he's currently $200, not the original 240 that he was. I highly recommend him. He's a great prop, but I'm going to get more into my rating on him after I show you what he does. I hear that these parts is haunted. That don't scare you none. Thinking that somebody's going to grab you. <laughs> Lucky for you, I'm the only thing haunted around here. You best skedaddle now. You think you can sneak through my neck of the woods without dealing with me? Don't you? No way. You run fast when you have to. <laughs> Good on you! As you can see, he is a great prop, and I like him a lot. So, really, my only complaint at all with him, and I don't know what happened to my camera. It looks all messed up now. Uh, I'll just go with it, though. My only complaint at all with his animation is how, if you saw, when he resets, it, it makes his eyes dim and his audio goes out because it's taking so much force and so much energy to pull him back into place that a little bit of his a little bit of it is taken away from you know his eyes and audio so it's a little too much for his motor to handle is pretty much what's going on and i really wish they could have made it a little bit of a stronger motor so it's not like that but other than that it's really nice because it's not really an issue the only thing I could see it being an issue is if it breaks it in the future, but so far I haven't had any problems with him. So really right now it's just a, uh, it's very, it's not very noticeable if you're going through a haunt or anything, so it's not really a big deal. If it breaks him in the future, then yeah, I could see that being an issue, but right now it's not really an issue, just a little nitpick there. But, um, he does have great phrases. I love his voice. I love his southern accent because he's a scarecrow. Scarecrows should have southern accents because they're on farms. I think it works really well for them. I think it's really, really cool. And I love his animation. It is awesome. It's very fast, and he has a very fast reset motion as well. I love his eyes. I love how his mouth moves. I just love everything about this prop. And so, though I did have a few issues that I pointed out, I would give him a 10 out of 10 claw marks on the Wolfman Review rating scale. I almost forgot what my rating scale was 
because I haven't done one of these in so long. I was about to say 10 out of 10 jack-o'-lanterns, but then I remembered it's claw marks. But, um, so anyways, he is a great prop. I highly recommend you get him, especially if you're doing a farm theme like I am. So, without any further ado, I don't know why I said that. That's usually what I say when I show the prop. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this Wolfman review on my favorite 2018 prop that you guys have been waiting for a review on for a while. Keep howling at the moon, my werewolves. Hey, come back. You don't play fair and you're making me angry. But maybe if you subscribe to Jaden's videos and join the werewolf army, I'll let you live another day. But it's not guaranteed. <laughs>